please, please welcome Vi Hart. All right, am I on? Okay, clap along with me. Hey everybody, welcome to my talk. My name is Vi Hart and I'm gonna start my talk as a musical because I was tired of doing talks that weren't musicals. Keep clapping, everybody stand up, unless you have a laptop on your lap and you don't want to and that's okay too, I guess. All right, <laughs> now repeat after me. Oh, hey, oh. Again, everyone. Oh, hey, oh. And I can sing way up high. No, oh my, I want you to repeat after me. If you want to do OEO, you can. But if you'd like to repeat what I'm singing, then that's also cool. You know what, we can get some of each. This side, you're gonna repeat OEO, and this side is gonna do whatever I do. All right. OEO. Again, OEO. And I can sing way up high. And I can sing way down low. Now everyone's gonna repeat after me on this one. No more OEOs. Unless you really want to, I won't like kick you out, but all right. It's audience participation. Audience participation. It makes me feel so involved. And feel personally invested in the talk. All right, you can sit down now. <laughs> Now that we had that little interaction, I can basically do whatever I want, and you're still gonna like feel invested and be like, yeah, that talk is awesome. Um, if you uh, don't know who I am, I don't know, can you raise your hand if you are at all familiar, if you've seen one of my videos before, do so have I, oh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna assume you know what YouTube is. You've seen it before. All right, these are some of my talk, um, not talks, videos. Um, oh, by the way, do I have like a timer countdown? Can I get that on here? Or will I have some warning? All right, you can think about that. Um, okay, I was told this, I mean, I'm sorry, I had to prepare my talk this morning and I haven't really, I don't know what the conference is all about. I was told this is a conference about agriculture. So today we're gonna talk about succeeding in agriculture. Um, now, as you know, there's three steps to success farm initialization, crop development, and harvestization. We're gonna talk about all three of these steps here today, you know, from initialization to harvestization, as the farmers say. Farmers here know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, I, I thought I'd give this talk. No, this isn't. All right, somebody told me last night at a party that this was a conference about agriculture. Okay. This is the talk I usually give. This is a talk that Andy, it turned out Andy's already seen this talk, so I'm not gonna give that talk. And I'm bored of that talk. Um, I used to be a musician. I went to school for music, my degree is in music. Um, I used to give like, that talk, but I'm not gonna give that talk. I'm tired of that talk. It was a good talk though. Um, I'm going, oh, then after that music thing, I was like, well, that's not working out. Being a composer is a terrible idea. So uh, I was blogging about math and giving talks about math and you know, computational balloon twisting and how to twist an optimal balloon icosahedron, if you want, it's computationally optimal. Uh, balloons, I did a lot of balloon stuff. And then I was blogging about, you know, food, math, math candy, and uh, more icosahedra. You can kind of see that I have a thing about icosahedra. Um, actually, okay, I don't want to like misrepresent how I feel about icosahedra, so. Um, all right, where is the old? Nope, this doesn't like to click back fast. Never mind. Um, all right, the icosahedron, I don't know, it's made out of triangles, and I like triangles, and it's a really good shape. It's strong, it, it, like, it's practical, but I don't know. Something about the icosahedron just feels like a little cold to me, so. Dodecahedron, I don't know. All right, but the thing is, I don't have to do that anymore, because then I discovered YouTube. 
Um, and it turned out that all that experience blogging, which wasn't very successful, translated to videos. Maybe some of you have seen this video about uh, you know, optimizing for maximum gravy, given you know, a certain potato perimeter. <laughs> and uh, you know, how green beans are like vectors, and you can make a green bean casserole that's a vector field, or Borromean onion rings. Um, and then there's the infamous Flexmax, Hexaflexa Mexagon, which people have actually made. <laughs> yeah. No, I made this like crazy video about, yeah, make that, you know, you cut a tortilla and you fold it like this and you make a hexaflex and mix it. I didn't think anyone would actually do it. It turns out that a lot of people have told me that they have done it. And I assume you're gonna tell me stuff about time when I look at you, it'll give me numbers, great. Um, and you may not think that origami has anything to do with mathematical food, but then you haven't studied computational origami. But I don't do that anymore, and I'm not giving this talk because I, I suddenly started making YouTube videos. Just, I was doing this blogging thing about like math stuff because the music stuff wasn't going really well. And then one day, instead of making a, uh, a blog post about you know how to doodle this thing, I made a video instead. And it turned out that that was successful, and now since I'm a YouTube success and I'm like in the industry, I can give this talk, 10 Secrets to Success on YouTube. Because right, I know them, I, I've, I've done these things. We're gonna talk about, oh no, we're not gonna talk about anything ever again because uh, this is not working. Do we have a bug fix for this? Or if I point at you, can you just hit next slide? My presentation froze. <laughs> I can hook up my laptop or what do you wanna do? <laughs> yeah, I have a frozen presentation. And now I'm not sure what to do with my time. <laughs> Luckily, my audience is participating. Which means you have to like the talk because it's about you. <laughs> now I got shaking heads over there. Want me to run over and, you know what, we can just turn this into a, 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 a musical. Maybe we can get the uh, guitar on stage. Where is the guitar? Adrian, where are you? I will play guitar if I have to. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, can I, can I borrow your guitar? Is that cool? Oh, Andy, can I borrow your guitar? Great, yeah. Um, I, so I'm a math musician and you know, I went over to the math side and started making videos and then I kind of came back to the music side and did videos involving music and math at the same time. And that was, that was pretty nuts. Turned out people like that sort of thing. Who would have guessed? Um, okay. Oh, do you have a like thing for this? A clippy thing? A capo? Anyone have a capo? Oh, there's a presentation back? <laughs> the presentation's back. All right, you know what? We're gonna save the guitar for, um, you know, just leave that here. Okay. I don't know, who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, 10 secrets to success on YouTube. Whew. I don't have to play guitar. I was faking that whole thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, I don't have to do balloons anymore either. Not a single balloon or sword because swords and balloons don't go very well together. Anyway, um, yes, we really are going to talk about the secrets to success on YouTube. Branding, audience development, and monetization. All right, branding, branding. audience development, audience development. Monetization. monetization. I feel like these are the mantras we live by these days. They're like these assumed things that we all like, they're ingrained in us now. When, when you're in the industry for too long, they become true somehow. And they're not necessarily true. Okay, success, let's talk about success. What does success mean to you? Have you seen this talk before? Okay, sorry, I'll give a different one. Um, branding, back to branding. Um, this is my YouTube page thing. Um, and there's many branding opportunities here. Let's talk about them. First, there's my name. I thought this was my name. It turns out, I have learned over the past couple of years, this is no longer my name. I do not have a name. By heart is not my name, it is my brand. 
And people tell me that I'm supposed to do brandy things with this brand that is not my name because I don't have an identity anymore. I only have a brand. Uh, this is my logo. It's very important to have a logo um, that is professional and not just something you doodled in your notebook and took a picture of. And that your opportunity for you know, displaying information about yourself and your branding at the top of your page, that you shouldn't just take some random picture of an apple that you happen to have because it was the only high-res picture you had available. Uh, your thumbnails should be, um, they should have your logo on them, of course. Uh, this is your opportunity to try and hook people in, get those clicks. As you can see, I am not above using my body to get clicks. <laughs> Even the title, that's your opportunity to put in like names of famous people or your brand again. Um, the description also is an opportunity for um, who your friends are who you're displaying, right? People judge you by your friends, and this is your opportunity to, to show you the stuff you like and define yourself by other people. Um, you can link to your other channel, which should probably be something very professional and not the secret channel where you put really weird stuff that scares people. And also, of course, you need to be linking to your Twitter, your Facebook, your everything. If you're not face-facing your tweet book, then nobody will love you. And once again, the video you're showing up here is like the preview of your channel. It is suggested that it be a very like short, snappy video that just gets people in. Putting up like a half hour video about 12 tone atonal music would of course be a terrible idea. And that's how to win. And this is just, I took the screenshot this morning of what the front page of Google looks like to someone. I'm not logged in. This is just, you know, an incognito window. We got phones, phones, hating phones over here. We scroll down to see the other videos. You can see um, just people following these guidelines, right? Elders React, the React, that's a series, it's a brand. You know exactly what you're going to see just by the thumbnail. Sesame Street, Sesame Street. Um, oh, this looks like it might not be a corporate video. It's five-year-old pr getting protected by uh, her dog. Um, this might actually be a real video by a real person. You can tell because it involves kids and dogs. And if there's one thing where people find it off, it's important to people that it be authentic. It is kids and dogs. You can always count on kids and dogs. And uh, you know, we got names of things, Budweiser Presents, Vivo is branding all their stuff with Vivo. Um, and that's, that's fine. Um, OK, so we're following the rules. Audience development. Audience development. I've already done that. I, I developed an audience. So I'm good. Community engagement. The thing about. I, a PowerPoint is a powerful tool, and I'm using good graphics. Um, I, I took, um, right, and when I did stuff in real life, I gave, you know, talks and workshops, and, you know, you just get all these, like, people, a room full of people smiling at you and engaging with you, and, like, what is that good for, you know? Like, when, when people are in real life, you, you can't just, like, ban them or block them, if, although you can do that with umbrellas. But the thing is, right, you can delete a comment on the internet. You have a lot of control over the messaging, whereas in real life, people just draw all over your hyperbolic umbrella sculpture, as they do. Um, and it's a big mess. So as we know, audiences exist to be monetized. And that's why we have them. That's why you're here. Um, <laughs> So I had this audience, and I tried, when you have a small audience in real life, you can only have a small number of people in one room. And I took money from every single one of these students, <laughs> and yet I only got, I don't know, three to the seven, who knows what three to the seven is? Anyone? Three to, all right, that's however many pennies are there. Um, wasn't that much, although that experience did lead to making Sierpinski triangles out of other things, which led to this very informative and professional video um, that was awesome. All right, community engagement. You know, as we heard earlier, comments, they are the heart of YouTube, and you should be listening to the comments because, you know, your audience knows what they want, and you're working for the audience. Um, they are very smart people. Every commenter is a unique individual whose voice deserves to be heard. <laughs> and 
And that's how you win at YouTube. You just, you just say, you say like, you say subscribe, you tell the audience what to do. How am I doing on time? I'm great, okay. Because if you don't tell people to like your stuff, how will they know they like your stuff? <laughs> right, think about it, right? If you don't tell people to like your stuff, I'm, I'm switching technologies because I got bored of PowerPoint. Um, how will they know they like your stuff? Um, right, now we're using. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so YouTube is now a medium. That, that's what happens when there starts to be all these rules you follow and where in order to be successful, things need to be done a certain YouTube-ish way. Um, I get scared when user experience starts to come before content. And when you put user, you get words like a consistent user experience. And these may be important for what you're doing and you will get maybe a lot of money. Um, but that will affect the kind of people who are happy with whatever you're doing and the people who use it. You want like flow and immersive. These are all words that send up kind of warning flags to me where maybe it's what you want and you're gonna do something great with it. And it, it is like the thing. Yes, it's immersive and that's the point. Um, but when we start to use these words too much as if they're always good, um, you find people going for these things without first considering whether they want to. And uh, I don't know, that scares users like me away because I don't want to be drawn away by the algorithms down the algorithm rabbit hole every time I visit YouTube. Um, but that's okay because they will make a lot of money and I don't know, you've heard the medium is a message. I feel like this is me, this is my message, and this is the medium that is always surrounding everything I do. And if I don't like it, that's fine. I can go elsewhere. And uh, well, I've actually started to release all of my videos as torrents so that people can just download them directly and not have to worry about the rest. Um, right, I was gonna go on some rant about how like, just thinking about what does it mean to be successful on your platform or on a platform and what are the kind of people who that attracts. Right, you might make things for one sort of person, but this is a problem with many sites I see. Like, for example, I think Reddit often attracts a lot of very judgmental people because it is a site that is fundamentally about judging. You upvote, you downvote, you get upvoted and downvoted. Um, uh, just, yeah, I'm not gonna go on that rant. Um, oh, by the way, this is still just PowerPoint, right? I had this illusion of, of this nice drawing thing, but it's still the medium of PowerPoint. It's still just a picture. Um, I took this picture this morning too. This is across the hotel room, it's the fish grotto. And this picture too from the party last night where you're only allowed to eat yellow things. I don't know, I thought that was fun. That's why I took a party selfie. <laughs> and then I, the, there was a box, photo booth, photo booth. You could also take a party selfie. Because I like to participate in these kind of things. I'm a participator. I always like to be paying attention to what's going on around me and interacting with the world. Also, yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking of, in, in, that's interacting, right? I like to interact with the world around me. Because um, if I'm not having fun, I get bored and sad. And that is why I'm not giving the regular usual talk I give because I'm tired of that one. So let's get to part two of success in agriculture. Animal husbandry. <laughs> now, to be successful in animal husbandry, let's talk about success with livestock. Of course, there are three steps. The first step is branding. <laughs> and then, of course, the next step is, uh, well, in, in uh, agriculture, there's a special word for audience development. It's called domestication. <laughs> and of course, in the end, slaughter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, wait, how much time do I have left? Forever? <laughs> Because I can play, I actually can, I was lying before when I said I couldn't play guitar. I can play guitar if you want me to. <laughs> but I really don't want to put out the next speaker and I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> okay, um, all right, let's do it. Capo. Does someone have a capo? Because if someone doesn't, can someone like be my capo? Do you have a capo? You'll be my capo? 
please come be my capo. <laughs> it's audience participate. We planned, no wait, we didn't plan this, right? Um, how do I play guitar? Okay, yeah, um, oh wait, can we get another chair for my capo? <laughs> Okay, why don't you come up and we'll see what happens. Okay, um, I need I need this one. Third. Yeah. Um, this. Do this. Okay. I don't think I don't know if I like go like that. Is that better? I don't know. We can kind of like lean a lot. A little is, that, is that okay? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're actually gonna try this because that's what I feel like doing. It will amuse me. Um, this is a song. The form of the song. Have you ever heard of a song that's in A A B A form? Yeah, that's a popular form. You know what to listen for. Now, the thing about this song is that the A section, the form of the A section is A A B A, and the form of the A section of the A section is A A B A um, for all of them. So it's a fractal form. <laughs> And yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, and like, don't hurt yourself. Okay, if we need to take a break, you just stop and we'll take a break. Okay. <laughs> a, A, B, A. Again, A, A, B, A. Then the B part comes. I try to escape, but no, it's A, A. Back to A. I'm stuck in a pattern. A, A, B, A, I tried to leave, then it's back to the same old tune that I know, and I know my fate, yeah, I've got to go right back to A, but now I'm really trying to break from this trend that I follow again and again and again, I've been here in the past, and I know it won't last, cause I'm stuck in this pattern that I can't control back to A. A, B, A, I tried to leave, now it's back to the same old tune that I know, and I know my fate, yeah, I've got to go right back to A, it's A, A, B, A, I know I'm repeating, but what can I say, again, again, cause that's the only way, I gotta go back, A, A, B, A, it's A, Again, A, A, B, A. Again, again, cause I ain't got no boys. It was taken away. It was taken away. Now I'm breaking this trend that I follow again and again and again. I've been here in the past and I know it won't last cause I'm caught in this pattern again and again. Back to A, A, B, A. Can't do this no more, I just can't stay. So I run and I fight and I try to break free, but even that's in my pattern. I've got to go to be. I do my thing sometimes. If you get me in the right mood, you can't keep me doing the same old, same old all the time when there's so much in the world to do. So don't, oh, this is part of breaking the pattern. I did it on purpose. What chord am I playing? I don't know anything about chords. Don't ask me, don't ask me to go back. Don't tell me it won't last. Don't tell me it ain't true, cause I don't need you. No, I don't need you, don't need you. No, I don't need you. So please just let me be. Don't try to hold me down. How can I be free when you just keep hanging around? No, I don't need you, don't need you, no, I don't need you. I don't need you, don't need you, no, I don't need you, no, I don't need you. No, I don't need you, no, I don't need you. Oh, why do you keep on trying? To say A, A, B, A, as if I could go back to yesterday. This is the very last time, the last time I swear, just let me A, 
A, B, A, 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 B, A, no, don't tell me I can't go, I just can't stay. How you taught me to say, try and leave if you dare, but you know that I won't, yeah, you know I'll stay. How could you expect me to break from this trend that I follow again and again and again? I've been here in the past and I know it won't last cause I'm Caught by this pattern that I can't ignore. Back to A, A, back to A, 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 B, A. This is the very last time, last time I swear. Just one more A, A, B. Thank you so much. You are That's the best awesome. people I've ever had. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>